Bitcoin making the move. This is a four hour chart. Bitcoin has broken out towards 70,000 right now, around $69,000. It is there. I did a video just last night. This is the thumbnail of the video. Just put your attention where it says careful here. That's the area that we're monitoring for Bitcoin on the short term charts. This is a four hour chart, and that's the area that Bitcoin is in right now. I want to break down the Bitcoin move. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into the video. This is on the four hour. Before we even dive into that, I came across this post right before I was about to start recording. This guy, Thomas, over here on X says, Bitcoin is in the exact opposite position of when it was $67,000 in 2021. FTX was short the market, flooding it with paper BTC. Interest rates were set to rise. We were years from a halving. The ETFs were just a dream. This is a complete reverse, a perfect setup, keep stacking. That's a really just great perspective to, to kind of throw out there. And it's something, it's just a different way of saying what I've been tracking on the charts. We are just at the Bitcoin having. The Bitcoin bull market doors were just broken. When we get these two events in cycles past, this is the beginning of this parabolic bull cycle. Now, to his point, when we look back, when last time Bitcoin was around $67,000, right? We can just look in this general range back here, right? All before the bear market began. We're in a completely different environment. So I think that's incredibly important as we're going to start really digging into the, the short-term charts just to get a reminder of that. But we can start zooming into the short-term charts. Before we dive into the, the daily and that zoomed-in four-hour, I do want to mention something. Bitcoin on the weekly. This is incredible, uh, yet again, how this is playing out. And this is going to be probably for the next six days until this weekly candle closes, the most exciting thing to monitor for Bitcoin. In last night's video, even, I just discussed this red candle here hovering above on the weekly, hovering above the bull market doors. We were just talking about how it's so similar to the consolidation last cycle, just above the bull market doors, a very similar red candle, upward momentum, upward, pr upward pressure. And then Bitcoin, you can see that next weekly candle. Look at that power move for Bitcoin. This is kind of the weekly candle that we're in right now. And the question is, are we going to have a weekly candle like that? That's probably the most exciting question that is on my mind. And even just with that weekly candle, look at this. This was the weekly candle that really gave the separation from Bitcoin uh, of the previous cycle all-time high, right? Finally, just boom, explosive move away because we we had weeks of consolidation at that area where there was a little bit of resistance and just kind of Bitcoin consolidating and just check it out. Bitcoin doing exactly the same thing this cycle around, consolidating right around the all-time high area is Bitcoin about to put in that weekly separation candle to the upside. Target to the upside, by the way, we still have $85,000. It's the target out of this rising wedge that Bitcoin broke out of in kind of February. So $85,000, I think, is, is a nice macro target just to keep in mind for Bitcoin. If it's going to be a solid week for Bitcoin, maybe continuing its journey to that target. So going into the, the zoomed in, though, here's where we are. This is what we were discussing in last night's video. On the daily chart, we were talking about two main points. The 20-day moving average, Bitcoin, as I was doing the video, Bitcoin was really contending with that area of resistance. We were discussing the potential for Bitcoin. We've been tracking, first off, Bitcoin grappling with the 20-day, right? Above it, below it, and now back above it, and maybe structure forming in that story. But yesterday as I was doing the video, we were right below the 20 day and we were talking about the pop above the 20 day moving average. That's what we want to see. But put aside this 20 day moving average resistance. That's one piece of data. The other thing that we were discussing was this lower high Fibonacci. Because we actually, we were looking at this other moment in time, just as an example, previously for Bitcoin, where Bitcoin was kind of falling below the 20, and I think it, it might have been this moment back here in April, I believe it was. You can see Bitcoin falling below the 20, that green line, and then slightly popping back above the 20. But what it really hit was a lower high Fibonacci resistance, that green channel that you see there. And that's just a very typical move, right? Putting in a lower high. We can't just base Bitcoin's momentum and power on the 20-day moving average and, and getting above that area. 
we have to obviously use other indicators. In this case, lower high Fibonacci's are really helpful to really get bullish confirmation or bearish confirmation. And this is exactly where Bitcoin is right now. So 20-day moving average, Bitcoin's above there. We, that's good stepping stone. We want to see in the next nine hours or so, Bitcoin close the daily candle above that area. But it's that other area, the lower high Fibonacci. That's what we're contending with right now. And this is the area that even though Bitcoin's making a nice move, 69,000 approaching 70, it is a good idea to just cautiously watch because we've over the years, we, we've seen this happen so often. Bitcoin just kind of putting in a nice rally, a nice run. And, and from the swing low, you can see Bitcoin currently up around 13%. It's been nice, right? Making a little bit of a move to the upside. But then this, this consolidation story that's taking place from the all-time high, it could just, it could be a little bit longer, right? That's in play. And that for me, mentally, I just want to know that. I just want to be aware of that. But the area to watch for to see if maybe that is what is going to happen would be the lower high Fibonacci. So we go to the four hour and this is what it looks like. Bitcoin has made its way there. We've talked about over recent days, this inverse head and shoulders that Bitcoin has kind of made its way into uh, left shoulder breakout just happened. You can see Bitcoin just above the neckline right now while it's testing the Fibonacci breakout target around $76,000 or so, $77,000. And, and so the story is really playing out really nicely. From a technical analysis perspective, you can just see we have all of the tools, at least I think I have all of the tools to visualize these scenarios and to really monitor for bullish, bullish confirmations, right? So here's the lower high Fibonacci. The range of resistance right now, around it's really right around $71,000 at the upper end of that range to just below where Bitcoin is right now, 68700 You can see Bitcoin is there now. So maybe we have resistance towards the upper end of the range and then we're coming back down and we're testing the neckline and we discussed this in yesterday's video and then we get continuation maybe it all fails and bitcoin starts falling and then we've got to monitor again on the daily chart where that 20-day moving average is so the support so far sixty-seven thousand seven hundred dollars or so if we go back to the uh, four-hour chart right around sixty-seven thousand seven hundred, right around there that red line that's kind of the current support area for Bitcoin on this four hour. You can see there's not a ton of separation from that area. Neckline is almost confluent with that area. So that's generally the support area we'd be watching if Bitcoin consolidates for, you know, a few hours or so. Otherwise, target to the upside, we know what it is. Resistance that Bitcoin needs a break, we know what it is. Again, 70, 71,000 or so down to around 68,700. This is what I'm watching on the short term for Bitcoin. All the while, just prepared. If we don't get this awesome breakout, right, seventy-six, seventy-seven thousand dollar target, not not today, but this could be the story playing out. We start breaking the Fibonacci, we're coming back down a little bit, and then we're continuing to the target. Maybe it's like in the next week we're we're hitting that number, but if that doesn't happen, it might be because we're at this lower high resistance, and Bitcoin does actually want to fake us out, consolidate a bit longer as we prepare for the Bitcoin halving, which is around a month away right now. So a lot going on, but Bitcoin zoomed out looking so good, looking so bullish. Crypto looking incredibly bullish right now. And, and the rhythm on these charts from, from a technical analysis perspective is insane to continue tracking. The one thing where Bitcoin and crypto is diverging from last cycle, it's all happening prior to the Bitcoin halving. I can't, I can't say that enough. Last cycle, here's the Bitcoin having Everything that's happening right now happened months later. And, and that's just, it's just so, it's just such a good illustration of, of how bullish the crypto cycle is, this cycle around, and how I think things like the Bitcoin ETF, the spot ETFs, and, and even maybe regulatory clarity that I think we're getting close to these things, I think, are playing into the demand that we're seeing with crypto right now. So these are my thoughts. I think we're just getting started. There's obvious consolidation that is still in play. That's an okay thing. Even if Bitcoin's going to actually see resistance and start going lower, we just might have to be, be patient and, and stop being so spoiled this cycle. These are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.